Hello everyone, welcome to ST Model Cars. In this video, I would like to show you this 118 scale uh, Ford Shelby GT350R. Uh, this is made by AutoArt and this is their composite series. So this is not metal. Uh, this is a, uh, a cars, uh, the, this car is built from a composite material. Okay. Uh, price point on this, uh, I got this a few years ago uh, from eBay. I want this at $160, which you know was pretty good deal for this one. Uh, let me close everything here so you can kind of see the car better with everything close uh, in the turntable. So in my other video, uh, I reviewed the uh, 118 scale Auto Art Camaro ZL1. And after reviewing that car, I feel like, you know, I have to review its most direct competitor, right, to do it justice. So here's the review for uh, the Shelby GT350R. Okay, so let me turn off the, the turntable here and get it out of the way in a minute. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the details. I'm gonna start with under the hood. Okay, so the details on this um, Fudu uh, naturally aspirated 5.2 liter engine, uh, it's just done very well. I mean, if you if you can see this, right? Uh, first of all, I should mention that the hood just stay stay up just fine, but Auto Art give you this hood prop just to replicate the uh, the real car. Uh, you know, so if you want to display it and kind of make it look realistic, you can always use that hood prop. But without it, the hood stays up just fine. So let me get this back into place. Okay. Um, you know, so on the engine side, right, you can see this uh, uh, open element uh, air filter here, uh, coolant reservoir on the, uh, on the front. Uh, here's the top of the engine block and uh, no turbo, no supercharger. Uh, this is a naturally uh, aspirated car. And you have this Ford Racing uh, strut brace here, right? Um, you know, and you can see the, uh, the oil uh, uh, fill here and all the plumbing. So, and some of the labels are pr uh, present as well. Uh, so, yeah. So overall, uh, engine bay is just done really, uh, really well. So well done, Auto Art. Okay, and let's take a look at under the car. So, you know, the front of the uh, car is pretty much covered, uh, but you can see the back of the transmission and you see uh, the dual exhaust, uh, you know, molded as a separate, uh, separate piece and you can see the, uh, the rear suspension as well. So, the, uh, yeah, so the inner carriage, are, you know, it, it's pretty nicely done. Okay, uh, here's a side view uh, of the Shelby GT350R. And I particularly like this car in this solid red color. So this is why I, I got the car, right? Um, let's take a look at the, uh, the wheel details here. Uh, so this is the, you know, it's, it's supposedly a Ford's wheels, right? And it's, you know, it's, it's all black here. And you get the Brembo. Um, let's see if I can zoom it a little closer. So you have a, a Brembo uh, red brake caliper. And you have the uh, metallic uh, ventilated uh, rotor uh, that turns with the wheel. So that's pretty neat. And the other neat detail on this is they actually put on the tires, you can see that this is a Michelin tires right here. So that's pretty neat. Uh, you can see here's the GT uh, 350R uh, emblem here on the side, uh, black mirrors. And let's take a look at the interior. Okay. All right, let's me see if I can get some extra lights here. Okay. Uh, all right. So interior, uh, done really well. I'm going to start with the door panel. Uh, it has uh, two colors, uh, you know, has the uh, uh, silver trims on the door pole and that crab handle there and the speaker. So it's very nicely done. Uh, interior, um, fully carpeted, and, you know, and on top of it, they actually give you a floor mat, you know, which is a, a pretty neat, uh, neat touch, I think, right, right there. You can see, uh, you know, on top of the carpet, they, uh, they give you a floor mat. Uh, the interior details on this are very good. Uh, you know, you can see the uh, uh, the Shelby uh, plaque there, uh, infotainment screen, screen uh, the HVAC details and all the buttons. You can see the red start-stop buttons there, uh, shifter, uh, you know, AC fans, and of course, finish headliner. Um, and the seat, you know, you get this, uh, let me see if I can get this, you got this uh, uh, Recaro, uh, sorry, you get this Recaro seats here, uh, you know, this gray Recaro seat and get a cup holder in the middle. 
So you know, not much to see in the back uh, in the back area. Of course, in the on the GT uh, 350R here, they they remove uh, the back seats altogether. So okay, All right. So let's take a look and uh, from the back. So you know, almost looks like a standard Mustang GT. Uh, but again, it's still very nice. Uh, I added this custom license plate here, uh, quad exhaust, um, reverse light here, uh, black spoiler, and when you open the trunk, you can see that this is carpeted. So, and <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. And even they, they finish uh, under underneath the uh, the trunk lid here. Okay, so let's take a look at the driver's side interior. Okay, here it is. Uh, so you know they here's the uh, th the three spoke steering wheel and they repli replicate that pretty well has the uh, the Shelby logo in the in the center and if you look at the cluster the instrument cluster uh, you know you can see that the numbers uh, on the dials and the needles they're all there uh, so you know it, again it's just done really well uh, three pedals uh, manual transmission so that is very cool and all right, let me zoom it out a little bit and here's the view from the the side view from the other side of this uh, uh, Shelby GT 350R. Okay. Uh, going in the front, um, this is um, really neat that you know if you look at this grill, this is perforated, so you can see uh, you know to the uh, the radiator uh, behind this grill here, right? So instead of just molded plastic, this is actually a see-through grill with the Shelby emblem here, and it's it's, it's just done really well. Um, you know, so and same with the bottom. Like if you look at, you know, if you look at this, all this mess, they're all see-through. Uh, the headlight details, uh, pretty good. Uh, you have the lens here. You have the the three stripes here for the daytime running light, and then you have the projector headlights, and you have this uh, turn signal uh, here on the bottom as well. So here's the front. And the 350, the Shelby GT 350R actually has slightly front as uh, a different front end compared to like the GT500 and I personally uh, like the 350 looks uh, better uh, versus the 500 but again that's just personal taste so yeah um, I don't know how you feel about auto art uh, you know going away from uh, uh, metal from diecast metal and you know start making their newer cars in uh, from composite uh, I personally don't have issues with it I think it you know, it resulted in the uh, more precise looking cars and the tighter panel gaps, um, you know, and of course the big plus is you don't have to worry about the paint rash uh, going forward, right? Okay, uh, so if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, uh, feel free to post them in the uh, comment section. And I much appreciate it if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so I will see you in my next video and thanks for watching.